Hello, I'm Julia Rodriguez de Guzman, and it's a pleasure to present you the recent publication of the study that our clinical and researcher group from Hospital Regional Universitario de Málaga in Spain has performed about the safety of the direct single dose drug provocation test for the labeling penicillin low risk reaction in adults. Betalactin antibiotics are the drugs most frequently involved in allergy reaction and it has several negative implications. Evidence shows that more than 90% of patients labeled are not truly allergic. However, diagnosis work up as complex and time consuming, it requires a skin testing and drug provocation test need on parts of the label and estrogen. So, we explored e safety in European adult patients with low risk and allergy history, and additionally, we analyzed the skin test role and the diesel involvement by lymphocyte transformation test. We prospectively recruited 269 patients referred to our units with a penicillin allergy label. We included mild and immediate cutaneous reactions such as urticaria, angioedema, or maculopapular rash without alarm signs, and a known reaction including unknown uh, childhood reactions and remote reactions. After the exhaustive clinical history, we performed a direct single dose challenge with the culprit drug, and if it was immediately tolerated, patient continued a treatment course for two days at home. As a result, 253 patients tolerated the challenge, so we labeled allergy in 94.1% of patients and only 16 patients had a positive challenge. When we analyzed positive results, no significant differences in demographic characteristics were observed. The culprit drug responsible in positive challenge were amoxicillin and omentin compared to negative challenge from whom it was an unidentified penicillin. Patients with a positive challenge were studied in a shorter period of time after the reaction and reported most of them maculopapular exanthema. 15 cases were confirmed as selective hypersensitivity, 14 to amoxicillin and 1 to clavulanic, and only one patient was confirmed as cross hypersensitivity. We observed a decrease in the mean interval of days between the challenge and the development of symptoms compared with the interaction, and the symptoms presented during the challenge. The main symptom was ma a mild, not immediate maculopapular exanthema in 81% of the uh, positive uh, challenge, and non severe reactions occurred. We completed the study in positive challenge with a skin testing, delaying to realmal test and bath test, with uh, only 19% of positive results, uh, showing a poor diagnostic value. And with the lymphocyte transformation test, uh, showing an increased proliferation and high specificity for diagnosis, and also when we com we perform a combination of cell speculation, the sensitivity of the test uh, increased. So we can conclude that the direct single dose drug propagation test is safe for the label in penicillin low-risk reactions and adults.